Today, I'll create the world's most powerful magnet. Hello, everybody. I'm Kyle Kian, and welcome to Magnet World. What is the name of this game? Ultimate Magnet, which is precisely what we have to do. We have to create the ultimate magnet, and of course, to do that, you, you need metal, I guess. Oh, okay, I understand. So now, I have money to increase the size, speed, and income of my magnet? It's science. Don't worry about it. Let's increase the size. Oh my. That had immediate effects. Let's see what we can pick up now. I love this. Okay, that is quite a bit more that we could pick up than what we could pick up before. You guys know the name of the game. You gotta spend money to make money. And that's precisely what we're doing. <laughs> How big can we make this thing? Oh my gosh. Am I just gonna magnetize the entire planet at some point? Can I magnetize the entire planet at some point? There's only one way to find out. Also, wait, am I, am I stupid? Don't answer that. There's a progression here. There's a progression that I was not noticing before. Look, so we turned all those gears into adorable magnetic blocks, and then we dropped those into the magnetic block factory that turns them into straight up crystals that I can only assume are magnetic as well. So should I go all the way back and, and create more magnetic squares? Look at all the gears we're picking up at this point. I want all these gears. I should I should collect all of the gears. And I should level up too. Look at all that money. <laughs> okay, okay. This magnet is getting enormous. And I am here for it. Look at that clump of beautiful little magnetic gears and nuts and bolts. It's beautiful. It is a thing of true beauty. Okay. I think that we can clear that area pretty quickly. Obviously, our uh, our square area is getting a little packed. We're gonna have to do some work with this. Let's send them over to the crystal factory. Cause everybody knows crystals come from squares of metal, right? Right, drop them in, drop them all in. Oh, this is so satisfying. Okay, 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 okay. Let's increase our, wait, 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 wait. I need to upgrade. Okay, increase speed, increase income. Beautiful. Now, <laughs> look at all these crystals. They're just waiting. What do I, uh, uh, oh my goodness. I was only on level one that entire time. <laughs> Go to the next level. Do I have to start over though? Or do I pick up where I left off? Is everything just bigger? I think the scale of everything is just bigger now. So my magnet looks smaller, but the reality is the things that we're picking up are just much bigger. It is science. I understand. I understand. And I understand what I must do. I must increase my size, speed and income. I must spend money to make money, to make more money and therefore get more money in the world of magnets. It's all about money, baby. So now I have the squares and I assume these squares are going to turn into crystals. They are turning into crystals. So I need to fill that bar at the top of the screen to move on to the next level, which really shouldn't take all that long. I get it. Upgrade my size and then we need more cubes. Turn these fans into cubes. That's a lot of metal fans that people are throwing away. Also, what else is in there? What is, it looks like a metal cutout of a person or maybe, oh no, maybe it's just a fan laying on its side. I don't really know what I'm looking at. Doesn't really matter. What matters is that we collect all them crystals at the end of this level and then move on to the next level, of course. Okay, turn you into crystals. I feel like this might be enough. If I get all these guys turned into crystals, we might be moving on and moving up. We're moving up the corporate magnet ladder. That actually makes no sense. That's why I like it. Okay. Are we good? We're so close. We're so close. And level completed. Let's go. Moving on 
What are we working with here? We've got like scuba tanks and pipes, green barrels, Donkey Kong and Mario. You guys hanging out again? Okay. We can work with that. I also appreciate that we get to carry over our money from the previous level. That is very convenient. So I can just juice myself up right off the bat. Here we go. Get that. Get those upgrades. We're now collecting emeralds. Because again, it is a scientific truth and fact that emeralds are actually just squares of metal turned into beautiful green gems. Everybody knows that. At some point, we're going to be turning these things into diamonds, right? Could you imagine the return on your investment there? You're literally throwing garbage into a machine and it spits out diamonds. Let's make it happen. Let's turn some scuba tanks into square wads of metal. Give me some more speed. Sure, why not? But, you know, actually, I, I should limit the amount of money that I spend on any given level so that I can carry over that money to the next level and blast my way through the, the following level, right? Does that make sense? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of emeralds. I need to collect them. I beat the level before I even realized it. I'm really good at being a magnet. Oh, okay, okay, we're making like ruby hearts out of tires. I don't even know what that thing is. Some kind of metal ramp or something? I don't really know. I see pipes. I see large bolts. What matters is that we're making ruby-shaped hearts. Ruby heart... Heart-shaped rubies. I can speak. Don't worry about me. Okay, drop these guys in here. I probably don't need to load this thing up too much more. I don't think. It is definitely taking a lot more metal to make one cube of of metal. And how many heart-shaped rubies do we get out of this? Eh, not that many. Okay, okay. I understand. It's gonna take some time. That's fine. I mean, again, we're making beautiful gems out of literal garbage. Where are we getting all this garbage? Who's throwing away all these slinkies? I like slinkies. They're fun. I will say though, like if they get bent in any way whatsoever, it's it's over. Like the slinky will just not work anymore. Like you can do that thing where you make a slinky go down the stairs. I love that. But if there's a little kink in one of those rings, it's over. The slinky ain't gonna do it anymore. Turn it into a cube of metal so that we can turn it into a heart-shaped ruby. <laughs> Stat. All right, give me all the hearts. Are we almost done? We're almost done. I think that's enough, but I kind of want more money. Should I just stay here and farm money? I don't know. We can move on to the next level. Plus, I want to see what's next. I want to make diamonds. Those are not diamonds. Also, we're turning jerry cans like things that you carry around gasoline with into teardrop rubies that's seems kind of dangerous honestly i like it all right let's upgrade though let's make some teardrop rubies shall we okay what do we got as far as cubes go a decent amount so let's drop all these guys off at the the teardrop ruby factory okay do i have enough rubies that's a lot of rubies tell me it's enough tell me it's enough it's very close. I feel like I'm collecting, like, sunflower seeds. <laughs> oh, come on! We're right there! Just turn these last cubes into rubies for me, would ya? What a business. I gotta figure out how to turn trash into rubies. Why isn't anybody working on this? It seems like such a great business. I also have a thousand bucks in the bank that I'm not using. And I... I don't need it for this level. Like, I'm still making money. Wait, can I just keep making money? Even though I've beaten the level, I can still continue playing? That's kind of cool. No. We need diamonds. Wait, is that a spade diamond? That's sick. That's so cool. Also, am I turning Iron Man's feet into spade diamonds? Like, what is this? It's a robot leg. That looks like a robot leg. Sorry to the robots, I guess. We should really see how big of a magnet we can create. I can, I can still, I mean, yeah. I need $800 to, 
to make the magnet bigger? I can do that. It's so easy. You throw the trash in the machine and the machine spits out money, just like real life. Wait, no, I lied. Nothing like real life. Bummer. I love these spade diamonds. They're so cool looking. Look at them. Just pile them up. I don't even want them. I just want a bigger, better, faster, stronger magnet. The strongest magnet money can buy. Look at that. I just picked up everything. Well, mostly everything. Upgrade me. <gasps> we can still upgrade even more. I'm scared of the power that I've acquired. It's too much. Wait, can I pick up all these cubes? Really? I can't pick up all the cubes? You disappoint me, magnet. It's okay. We'll fix that. We'll upgrade you. Okay, we picked up all those cubes. That was pretty good. Should I increase my income gain? Probably. That should probably be the first thing you upgrade, but here I am being dumb. Because, hey, listen, I'm a magnet. I don't claim to be smart. I just claim to be really good at picking up things that are made of metal. Increase my income. Now let's turn these cubes into something useful. We're going to get a lot of money for these. Why do I feel like I'm not getting more money, even though I'm upgrading the income? L let's see. I'm getting f like 10 to $14. Let's see. Let's see if those numbers change or we're being lied to by big magnet industry. 13, 14. I think we're being lied to. I don't think the income plus is the move unless it only applies to the metal stuff over here. Let's see. What do we get here? I can't even make sense of it, but somewhere around four, three dollars, three or four dollars per item. I don't think the income plus is doing anything. We could definitely test it on the next level, which is precisely what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the next level because like all these yeah, OK, I think I have enough. Yeah, it turns out we had enough. We don't need any more diamond spades. The world has all the diamond spades that they could use. So what's next? Oh, oh, it's a clover, a green clover. I guess like a club if you're going with cards. I got it. Let's upgrade, 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 upgrade. That's a big magnet. Now, do I need to upgrade my income? I don't think I do. Let's see what we get. We're getting three, four bucks. And that's with zero income upgrades. I bought one because it was $10. I don't think it really makes that big of a difference. In fact, I don't think it makes any difference. <laughs> but we'll see. Maybe, maybe. Look at all those shiny green clovers. Oh, we can upgrade our magnet. Let's go. And let's do it. Beautiful. It's so overkill to have a magnet this upgraded but I love it because look at how much junk I can pick up in one go. It's just so satisfying. Oh, okay. How are we looking? That's a lot of clovers. Are we moving on? Yeah, we're moving on next level, please. Okay. So let's upgrade our size, but now I'm going to use the power of super annoying ads to upgrade the magnet as far as we can upgrade it, or at least as far as I can endure all the terrible ads a few moments later okay i've hit max level magnet the ultimate in magnet technology <laughs> let's see if i can just pick up everything come on come on do i have it all oh <laughs> i mean it dropped a few things there but that was pretty much everything let's see how it handles metal cubes can i pick up a 2023 infinity q50 Starting at 42,000 something something dollars. Can I, can I pick up the car? No, I can't pick up the car. Okay, fine. I'll just make gems out of trash and then buy one with all the money that I make from it. Take that, infinity. I mean, that's a pretty strong magnet. I'm not going to lie. 